Well, hello folks. I thought I'd share a little bit of uh, information with you about a new project that I built for my HO train layout. This is a bascule bridge, lift bridge, made by Walthers. I bought it on eBay and un unknown to me was even though it was brand new and in a box, never opened, it's an old version that was made over 20 years ago. And the new version is supposed to come with up and down limit switches that shut it off when it gets to where it wants to be. This one came with a very old-fashioned mechanical electrical upper limit switch. It doesn't look like it's going to work very well. And it didn't come with a down limit switch. So I contacted the company and they're going to send me some switches, but I thought in the meantime I would uh, modernize this a bit better and I thought I'm going to make this work a little nicer. The original schematic shows the cabin micro switch, which is the upper limit, and the abutment micro switch, which is the lower limit. These switches I don't have, of course, and the motor. And coming in, you have to have a polarity reversing switch as shown at the bottom. So what I did is I reworked the schematic and replaced the uh, limit switches with some relays I had on hand. And I'm going to use reed switches. Now, if you're not familiar with reed switches, they are little tiny switches that operate when a magnet comes close to them. Here's a magnet here. See that little click? I don't know if you can or not. That's the reel I'm making. Anyway, so I wired all this mess in with some diodes and made it the proper way, and I'll show you what happens. So I select this thing to go down. It's going down nicely. So what I do is I take my little my little magnet here and I approach the first limit switch. That's the down limit switch. It stops the travel. As soon as that happens, oh, hang on a second, then you reverse, I can't do all this at once, I gotta set this thing back. Up. Then you reverse the switch, make it go up, and now it's traveling up. The down limit switch magnet moves away. Then when it gets to the up position, there's a different, there's a second uh, reed switch. I'll bring the magnet in there. And it stops again. That's the up limit switch. And then once that's hit, let magnet hold there. Then I switch direction to down. She starts traveling down. And then the limit switch magnet moves off the top. And as it goes down, eventually it will hit the down limit. And I'll simulate that by bringing in this magnet again. And she stops. Just like magic. At any rate, I'll show you the whole uh, operation of this thing from top to bottom. Well, first of all, let's go all the way down. No, all the way down. I'll just go manually with my switch, and that's pretty close. I got my track laid inside and glued on. I'm using Code 100 track, and you see I've just got a small little space there. I didn't have to angle it or anything. And then when you lift the bridge up, you watch that those little spaces don't affect anything, and they actually get farther apart as the bridge goes up. And the only thing you have to watch for is this great big counterweight, which is filled with, with uh, I forget how many ounces, quite a bit of nuts and bolts and sand to basically counteract the weight of this whole gizmo. It comes down and just barely clears the top of the track, but it does. And full up, that's, that's somewhere around full up. And that's my little machine. And it was fun building. It works like a million bucks. My only problem is, on my layout, I've already got about five or six bridges, and I have no idea where the heck I'm going to put it. But that is for another day. All right. Totally do. Bye-bye.